Okay, I'm going to go straight into this one. Um, after a bit of a controversial day on uh, on a Facebook group with one of my posts I put on there, just trying to help a few people out, um, I actually got a really good response from it. So it was the one um, which I made about uh, moving out of your auto mode and into aperture priority. Um, yeah, you got some great results. So I'm going to do another one. This one, again, it is for beginners, but um, this one is going to be about what your ISO means on the back of your camera. Um, because ISO to a lot of people is just three letters, the same as when I first started. I, I struggled with ISO, aperture and shutter speed and it was kind of the, the triangle of the three things which I struggled to, to work out. So what your ISO basically does in, in layman's terms is it's almost like the light bulb for your camera. There are the, the technical things that millions of people will tell you what it does, but to me, it's about lightening up your picture. So if I have it on ISO 100, then it's kind of at the, the darkest it would ever be, but it's at the best quality. So if I was in a dark room, like, like now, I've got my ISO set on 200, but I have got a couple of lights around me. If you're in a dark room, and there's no, no ambient lighting around you, then you will need to bump that up. Now, it's fine because most cameras will go up to say 10,000 ISO and you won't see a huge amount of sort of noise distortion, but when you do bump that up, that is one thing that you get, which is why people will then use um, a flash um, on the back of their camera. So that creates the light so they can keep their ISO nice and low, um, and then you get a much, much clearer picture. So the idea, is that you always try and keep your ISO, for me anyway, this is again, this is, a, this is not a proper way, so no disrespect meant if I've done anything wrong, um, but to me it's just about keeping that number as low as I can. So when I do my portrait shots, um, and there's the video to show how I edited my portrait shots, um, I had my ISO on, I think I had it on 100, 200, and that is because the, the eyes, are, I focus in on the eyes, and it's really crisp on the eye then. If I didn't have the two soft boxes I've got by the side of me, um, then I would have had to put my ISO up to say 3000. I would have still got a nicely, nice bright picture, but the, the grain would have come in because I'm having to make the camera work harder to create an unnatural light, and then the eyes wouldn't be as clear. So when you're taking your pictures, try, just play around with it, put your, put your, um, uh, uh, I'll show you, I'll, I'll go into the back of my camera again and do what we done last time. So let's have a look at my camera now and I'll show you how you can move that around and then we'll go from there. And one of my lights just fell over. Damn it. So we're going to grab a camera, exactly the same as what we did last time. Um, I'm going to get you to put it in a mode on the back, which you are familiar with because you've watched my other video. Um, we came out of auto and we went into AV mode. So making sure our camera is in AV mode like it was before. Come up to the back, press your quick menu button. Again, we've done this before. Um, he says when your camera comes on. Yeah, mum, there we go. So we're in AV. All I want you to do is go AV F.4. So adjust it like you done last time when you played around with it. Um, and your camera still should be set up from the last um, tutorial that I done and it should say ISO auto which is exactly what I told you to do so you've done that well however this time we're going to take it out of ISO auto and we're going to go the first click and we're going to go ISO 100 then I'm going to ask you to go outside tomorrow um, or if it's daytime now where you are um, and just take a picture at that setting you'll probably need to be daylight just to get an actual result out of it because it needs that's your kind of your, your lowest sensitivity your lowest amount of light um, false light that your camera is reading um, the next one up I want you to take another picture say at ISO 400 take exactly the same picture the picture doesn't have to be amazing it's just it's just a picture so you can see what happens on the back of the screen here to the picture that you've just taken then the next one we'll do it at a thousand same picture and then just keep going up from there until you get the idea what your ISO will do up there it's ridiculous it's just you're not even going to be able to see the picture it's just going to be like a bag of grain um so we'll come back down um and try that um that should give you an idea of what the iso does now there are ways of compensating with iso f number and shutter speed but for now all as we're doing in this tutorial is just understanding what the iso does to each picture when the settings are f.4 and av mode okay 
don't worry about the shutter speed because the camera is working out the two working out what the number should be with those settings set on there so again starting at 100 moving up moving up moving up moving up and just see what that does to your pictures and um, let me know what you think and if you understand it because the next time we'll adjust shutter speed but for now like i say dead simple lay my brand new lovely 5d mark IV camera down look at that i have done a video on this by the way um, when i went to collect it I'll say it was similar to when my son was handed to me for the first time. It's lovely. Um, but I'll save that video because it's just a bit of a fun one to do. Firstly, that was what I was wearing. My new YI 4K 60 frames a second mega camera, which makes you look like a complete one of them when you stick it on your head. Get that out of the way. Windows open as well. Neighbours can probably see. So that that's covered our ISO. Now, again, it's, it's just a brief 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 lesson but just putting everything aside what the iso does when you turn it up turn it up turn it up so just practice play around with it um comment like you have done before show me what you what you've done i'd love to see what you've done um, and then the next one we'll do is shutter speed and then we'll mangle it all together and you'll be pros anytime soon so yeah come back probably in a week i'll have another one done but if you haven't seen my other videos have a watch like him, subscribe it, and we'll be friends.